Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the last part of our diorama build. Well we have put our base together and now it's time to start adding some details. Let's start with some sand texture. I take the same pigments that I have been using throughout the build starting with the early tiger one and mix them in a container. I prepare the diorama by spraying on some PVA glue diluted with water. An old stocking goes over the container. And now I dust on the sand. I clean up after every layer. For now, I just brush off the sand from the rock faces. I will clean them up more later. Although I do like how the rocks have picked up the tint of yellow from the sand. The extra sand is vacuumed off. The sand looked a bit out of scale, so I patted it down with a brush. I clean the rock faces by airbrushing water on them, although I try to leave a little sand on. Right, time to plant some grass. I will be using Mod Podge Mat and Static Grass from Woodland Scenics. I am using a mix of medium green and burnt grass. I will use this static grass applicator that I bought from our unknown friends in China for about $20. It's not as fancy as the ones made by the more well-known brands. But then, it does the job and is comparatively dirt cheap. I apply the Mod Podge to a section of the diorama. And then using the applicator, plant the grass. On to the trees. I first use the tank as sort of a rough scale to see how tall the trees should be. I am using soldering wire to make my trees. Once I have a rough height, I double over the wire and make several loops of the same length. I just make sure that I have an even number of loops. Now I start twisting the wire. The root end of the tree is twisted with the help of some pliers. This part will go into the diorama, so I try to keep it narrow. The branches are first twisted into two strands.
I next randomly twist the wire into smaller and smaller groups till I am left with two wires. These will be the end of the branches. In places where I felt the branches were too thin, I simply added a wire or two and twisted it in place. I now apply art masking fluid to the tree wire frames. Each tree is given 3 or 4 coats till the wires cannot be seen anymore. The frame is given a coat of brown base paint. I now spray on some glue to the branches and glue in place some lichen from Woodland Scenics. The lichen will act as smaller branches and hold the leaves. The lichen is now airbrushed brown. Interestingly, the glue gave the tree a very nice rough texture. Something I was not expecting to happen, but it looked very nice in the end. Once the glue has cured, I spray on some more and fix in place some woodland scenic bushes. I use three random colors just to give the trees some variation. I now make the infantry figures from this set of infantry on maneuvers. The diorama scene will be of a company of infantrymen with a tiger tank and a motorcycle casually crossing the creek. Speaking of the creek, I add a final few touches to it by placing some stones of varying sizes and gluing them in place. The first two soldiers will be in the middle of the stream crossing it. These figures are glued in place. The sides of the creek are blocked off with some masking tape. I should have spent more time on the blocking off since I did get some minor leakage. Something to keep in mind for next time. I am using realistic water from Woodland Scenics. I pour in a thin layer and wait for it to dry. I keep building up on the water layer by layer so that I get good clarity. To add some ripples to the surface, I use Mod Podge Gloss. I apply the Mod Podge to the water surface liberally and then use my airbrush to add the ripples. I move section by section so that I can add the ripples before the Mod Podge starts setting making it difficult to move it around.
Once the water is almost dry, I dry brush some white onto specific areas to highlight the ripples. I concentrate around the rocks and down this section where the creek narrows down. Well, that's about it. All the elements of the diorama are now glued in place. And here we have it, fellow model makers. My first diorama is finished. There are many lessons that I learned from this build. But I guess that's the only way to gain experience and improve. I must say, I am happy with the end result. I hope you enjoyed this build series. Please do like and subscribe. Till next time, good luck and happy model making.